What is up, YouTube? Uh, thanks for coming over to the second channel. Uh, it's kind of crazy to me. When we said we were doing a second channel, uh, we just kind of threw it out there a little bit in one video. I think we only mentioned it once, and now we've got like 15,000 subscribers with no uploads. So thank you guys so much for that. That's kind of crazy. I really didn't know if this was going to work or not. So, ah, jury's out. We'll see. But off to a promising start. Move some of this AK parts. There we go. So I can talk. Anyways, uh, here at the shop right now, we're doing a little bit of work, doing a little bit of clearing stuff out, but talking about that part acquisition, boy, do I have a story for you guys. But before we jump into all that stuff, random location change, because frankly, I got caught up working. I got way too busy at the shop earlier. I uh, forgot to film the rest of this, and now it's two o'clock in the morning, and I still have to film this before uh, I have to get it out to you guys tomorrow, which is Saturday, which is when you're watching this. You guys probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a little bit of background on the big deal that I just made. Uh, it's kind of what we teased to get you guys over here to this channel, so thank you for that again. It was from the video, I bought an AK factory, which I know is a bit of an ambitious title, but when you guys see more and more about what I picked up in this deal and what that's going to mean for the company, I think you guys are really going to understand that is not as much of an exaggeration as it might come off as. I've seen a lot of theories in the comment section as to what you guys think happened, or I saw things that were actually pretty entertaining and certain things that were just, come on, you know better than that. I would never do that. Like buying out IO, please. I'm gonna go ahead and debunk that right now. I did not buy out IO. Um, there is no cast trunnions or any of that shit in what I picked up. So no worries guys. But at the request of a lot of people involved, I'm not gonna give actual names, what the stuff was, where I picked it up from, anything like that. But I'm gonna give a little bit of background as to uh, kind of how I came into this, uh, what all is there, uh, kind of the going there and getting it and kind of how all that shook out. So yeah, strap yourselves in because we're going to do one of the first, actually the first vlog on the channel. So starting out, I flew down to New Orleans, Louisiana, or Nolens as I've been told they call it there. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? I am down here with Delance, my wonderful camera guy, in the wonderful city of, you guessed it, Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I'm in New Orleans. That is the once very relevant to American trade river of the Mississippi, or so they call it. Those are some palm trees because they're trying to convince you that you are in Hollywood. Anyway, we are down here. We just got in uh, probably about 20 minutes ago and we are here. I've got a big deal pending. Uh, you've probably heard a little bit about that from the other channel. We're gonna see how it all works out, but I'm gonna be filming with James Reeves from TFB TV, my biological father. Okay, I've just been told I have to do a spinny transition, so. Alrighty guys, and I'm back and look who I found. I can't believe, are you putting me on your fucking bullshit channel? No. This garbage. No, it's all right, it won't make it to the internet. <laughs> We're all good. Oh yeah, right, bullshit channel in the background. He made me put this on. He made me, I don't watch this. I don't watch this. Tell the truth. I watch it. But we're just going to be uh, filming a couple videos here, and I guess we're going to be playing pool. Is that a Saints ball? There it is. That's the eight ball, baby. Huge Saints fan around here, and then we've got the vacuum <laughs> cleaning lady outside. This is funny as hell. <laughs> the bit that James was in just happened to show up at the TV. And there's still watching that junk? Dude, fuck, I'm going to get fired if they find out that they're, you're watching this in the fucking... Oh, that was me in the beginning. That was a good one, though. Yeah, it was. That was why I was. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Was it good? Was it that good? Because you were in it. Yeah, okay. drunk off those. So of course, I love James. It was fun hanging out with him. So we had a good time. But when we were done with that, we still had a little bit more time, like one or two days. So we did some touristy shit while we were down in New Orleans, including one of the best World War II museums I have ever seen in my life. Seriously, it was insanely complete. Firearm collection, all sorts of cool gun guy shit. MG 42s. Uh, MG-34s. I really like just German World War II shit. It's pretty cool. I want this so bad. Tasteful bit of Bakelite there. Wow, that's a dope wow. uniform. Uh-oh. So currently we are in the Arsenal of Democracy, I believe it's called, which... That's a badass name. Badass name, and they've got some badass toys. God, that's ridiculous. I didn't see that bomb back there being dropped until... I was right under it, which was too late. That beats the hell out of a chandelier. An insane collection of aircraft, which was kind of crazy for an indoor building. It was really, really insane stuff. Yeah, I've seen those before. They have those on Republic gunships, Star Wars. We have to take an elevator to get up top there, and uh, there's literally like six signs on our way over here saying that if you have a fear of heights, don't do this. Okay. 
How you, like how you doing over there, Lance? I wish I was better. This is crazy though. It's so cool to see, but then your brain kicks in at random moments and says, hey, you should be here. Fuck it, that was one of those moments right there. Good. <laughs> Don't judge me. Mmm. 50 cals. 350 cals. An ambulance. Hey, Doc, you got any of that good shit? No, oh, just a shitload of penicillin. Okay, thanks. Never mind. That is the most German thing I have ever seen in my life. Math is fucking rad. I had it wrong in school. I just sighted it in an airplane using a mirror and math. If you're in the area or you ever go down there, I definitely recommend checking it out. It was seriously really cool. But after all the touristy stuff was done, I went out and rented a Penske truck and we started the journey. Awesome motorized lift gate that my truck does not fucking have. Woohoo! Alrighty. Let's fuck. Once I got there, it took maybe four or five hours to get everything loaded up and squared away. It really doesn't look like a lot, but the more you sit down and count what's in every one of those boxes, you get an idea of just how ridiculous it is. I have to learn to love underfolders. Holy shit. Seriously, it doesn't dawn on you until like hour three exactly how many parts are there. I think we're about, uh, maybe a third of the way there. What do you think? Out. All in all, I'd say I probably have enough parts to build a few hundred AR-15s and maybe about three to four hundred AKs. But needless to say, this is a huge deal and was definitely the biggest undertaking I've ever gone through. Or what the fuck does that even mean? But needless to say, just from this really shitty B-roll, you guys are able to tell this is a lot of stuff. This is definitely the biggest deal I've ever been involved in. And uh, there's quite a lot riding on it, which is exactly why I went ahead and powered through the entire drive because I was not stopping in the middle of nowhere at a hotel with all this stuff in the back of a truck. I was not going to wake up at four o'clock in the morning and look out my hotel room window and watch my entire life being loaded onto another truck. All right, it's now 3 a.m. Got the wonderful Crystal Burger here and uh, we are refueling and it is just now dawning on me exactly how much diesel these things eat. Now, for those of you who are big, strong road warriors on the internet saying, ah, I've done drives longer than that. Yeah, but right through the middle of the night consecutively without stopping in a truck that is probably severely overloaded with over a few hundred thousand dollars worth of gun stuff in the back of the truck. Yeah, the stakes are a little different. That coupled with the stress of the deal itself, I was definitely not sleeping anyway. But through some miracle, I was able to make it back to Fayetteville, North Carolina in one piece with the entire cargo. So we went ahead and started offloading all of the stuff. Show me what you got. I like what you got. Thanks to the help of a few friends, it went relatively quickly but it's a lot of stuff to go through. And that's kind of what I've been doing for the last few weeks. It's been fun. I actually have had a good time with it, uh, except for all the menial counting, because Jesus fucking Christ, 3,000 underfolder stocks is a lot to count. So long story short, this is a deal that I've kind of been trying to make work for the last like six months or so. As soon as I ran the numbers on it, I, I knew that it was a huge deal and probably it was definitely outside of my comfort zone but I had to find a way to make it work. This was the right move for the company, I think. And uh, I mean, just moving forward, I knew that I had to increase our production uh, capacity. I had to be able to just increase the numbers of rifles we were putting out. I had to lower my cost. I had to do a lot of stuff to really make this con uh, company viable in the long term and really make it grow as much as the channel is growing. And uh, this was the deal that was allowing that to happen. And so I'm really excited about it. I really do think this is going to be like all hype and bullshit aside. I really think this is going to be a huge turning point for the company and, uh, and for my <laughs> unprofessional career. But to the stakes, now I have to work on paying off a lot of this stuff and I've gotta be building rifles, I've gotta be selling parts, I've gotta be just pulling double overtime for the next three to four months to make all of this stuff fall in line to where I don't lose my ass on the deal. So I figured that would be a cool thing to share with you guys. I mean, this is definitely a weird experience. It's not something I've ever, I don't know anybody who's done anything quite like this before 
on this scale. And so I thought it would be kind of cool. I think it was, uh, you know, this is something you guys might be interested in as far as the YouTube end of that. So I don't know if you guys want to see more about this stuff, you want to know more about what's in there, maybe like kind of a more or less full inventory, uh, the stuff I'm doing to, to move some of the stuff, some of the rifles we have planned coming up in the future, just let me know. But I think this is going to be really cool. I, I'm actually having fun with it. Yeah, no, but I think it's cool. And I think it's cool to be able to talk to you guys like this and kind of communicate a little bit more directly and not on the, the main channel where we're worried about, you know, screwing up our algorithm and, and kind of our, our flow and the, the comedy and the gun meme reviews and whatever else. So uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, just let me know and we'll do more of it. I kind of want to figure out, I kind of want to get a feel from you as to what the direction of this new channel is going to be like. So kind of bear with me as we find that, but I think it's going to be a lot more personal, to be honest. Kind of like Demo Ranch, actually Matt from Demo Ranch was one of the guys who really kind of convinced me to do a second channel. Kind of the way he does off the ranch, I figure I'm probably going to get into a little bit more of that style and, and see kind of, I'll see how it goes. I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling whatever I do with it, I'm going to have to put my own spin on uh, and I'm just, it's going to happen anyway. So We'll see where it goes, but I'm excited to do it. And thank you guys so much again for joining me here. So that's all I got for today. I got to work out before I lose any more of my gains. Uh, but <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.